What's up, family? Welcome back. Finance Fridays, a.k.a. Payday. Welcome, welcome. If you are new, um, every Friday that I get paid, I come to you guys and I budget everything out with you and we stuff some of my cash envelopes. So, I know the setup is mighty different. It's not what you're used to. It's not even what I'm used to. But... My husband is doing like some classes or something and unfortunately our dining room table which is our normal setup which you guys are used to seeing has been turned into his office. So we are upstairs in my bedroom on my nightstand. We're just going to make the best of it. Okay. I think this is his last week. I hope and pray that this is his last week. But yeah will be all right it's just for today so we are going to get into stuffing our cash envelopes and we're also going to do something a little different um i didn't take out all the money that i want to stuff from the bank when i did my bank run because i had created um savings accounts for some of my cash envelopes so for new car new house retirement and emergency I created a uh, savings accounts for them because according to my bank I'm allowed to have as many savings accounts as I want so I created a savings account for those things so we will be electronically transferring the money to those accounts from my uh, checking account so yes it's a lot of new things happening a lot oh Sorry, bear. You guys like my little rose bear? It's my Valentine's Day gift. She's so cute. But okay, let's start stuffing. Okay, for gas, we are going, I broke it down to $25 because it seemed like 30 was too much that I was normally putting in there. 30 normally fills my gas tank, but I don't really go anywhere, guys. Like, my life is really boring. And my job is right around the corner, so I don't use that much gas. So I decided to try out if I could go on $25 for two weeks, like, see how long that'll last me. So after I came from the bank, I did go to the gas station, and I spent $15. So that should leave me with $10. Stuff is just sliding. <laughs> Sit that to the side. Um, it did live... I spent 15 so that leaves me with 10 so we are just going to grab a 10 and stuff that and I decided that I'm just going to update the expense trackers after I'm done filming because then it just makes the video too long so gas we will sit up here just gonna sit that up on top of the bear out of the way and then grocery I also broke that down to just $30 because, again, I don't really eat that much. I'm a snacker more than I am an eater. So, broke that down to $30, which we have as a 20 and a 10. So grocery is done. And then self-care we also have at $30. And that is three tens. So 10, 20, 30. That goes in here. Let me act like I know. Put it in there properly. All right. Straighten you out. Um, and household gets 25, which we have as a 20 and a 5. And household does still have money in it. So, it has 20, 30, 40, 5, 50. So, $50 is now in household. 
and I figured out what I want to spend household on. I want to get myself a new desk. And I just found one that I really, really like at Target. And I think it's on sale right now for like $60. So I'm almost there. Almost there to getting this desk. Like it's white with gold legs. And y'all know how I feel about gold. Like it is perfect for me. Nice and chic and functional. Just how I like it. So that is what household is for. And then we can put these away. So now we are moving on. Let me grab all of these. So gas, then comes grocery, then comes self-care, then comes household. All right. I try to keep them in order of how I write them down in my book. So now I'm moving on to prep and landing. Okay, so I told you guys in the last envelope stuffing that we changed my glasses envelope into a miscellaneous envelope. So here it is, brand spanking new. And I remembered to put the tracker in there. So we have miscellaneous, Tom Tom, Theo, back to school, and beauty and prep and landing. So let's start with that. Get started on this. So miscellaneous gets five dollars oh and miscellaneous has money in it still from our last stuffing so now we have 25 and miscellaneous all right and set that to the side now we are moving on to Tom Tom and Theo. And you guys know that never changes. They both get $10 each, which is two fives. Okay. And I don't even need to count Theo's because they both get the same amount every week. So they should have equal amounts in both their envelopes because I don't spend anything in them. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. All right, just double checking. So they each should have forty-five dollars. Oh, here we go. That's why it seems I had to double check. I left a five in there, so it should be fifty. There we go. Forty-five, fifty. I knew I wasn't tripping. All right, so they each have 50 in their envelopes. We will set them to the side. Back to school. That gets its usual 40, which is two 20s. All right, I think that is it for my 20s. I believe. Let's take the money out. All right, so now in back to school, they have, oh, sometimes I hate new money. It always sticks together. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, two hundred. So we have two hundred in back to school. Okay, and for the last thing in prep and landing, it is beauty, and that gets $10, which is just a 10. All 
right so now we are all done with prep and landing and i'm going to put this back and we will move on to our next category so miscellaneous tom tom theo then we do back to school followed by beauty okay I'm just gonna set that up there before I put it back in the folder bring out our binder this goes in here all right now moving on to long term which we are going to skip so eventually I will be taking this um, the money that is inside of retirement new house and new car to the bank and depositing them into the new savings accounts that I opened for them so for right now we can skip these because we're going to do this electronically once we get done with our envelopes so we're going to skip that and we're moving on to build emergency fund gets skipped because that also got a savings account so we're doing that electronically so we'll set that to the side um, which we then come to car maintenance travel and business so for those who didn't know I have a uh, I don't want to say bath and body works but it's pretty much that's what it is <laughs> um, I make soaps and lotions and um, bath bombs and all that kind of stuff on the side you know it's my little side hustle so that is what my business folder is for but we do not need to stock anything in business because I am all good so we're not stuffing that um, car maintenance gets its usual 50 so sit that in there like so count how much we have now and car maintenance so 50 100 50 220 so car maintenance now has 220 dollars and i need to get an oil change soon and very soon oh so we're going to set car maintenance to the side since we are done with that and travel gets 20 which is just a 20 dollar bill but i do not have any 20s left so at least I don't think I do no I don't so why do I have so much money left 10 20 30 40 50 so I have $50 in tens and $10 in fives and I have no idea why Business got nothing. Travel gets 20, so we'll take two tens. Emergency, we're doing online. So is this money that I need to redeposit? I think so. I think I took out too much money, guys. Oh, no, I didn't. I know what it is. Yeah, so 10, 20, 30. Because I made new envelopes, which I need to get. There we go. All right, so $20, two tens will go into travel. I completely forgot. As soon as we get done with this, I will go and get them. All right, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, Three, four. Okay, so travel now has $64 in it. And I need to renew my passport. I need to get the boys new passports. Well, not new, but their initial passports. Oh, I can only imagine how much that's going to cost. Like, I haven't even looked it up. I'm just so scared to see what the price is going to be. All right, but we are done with bills. So let me go and get those new folders so that we can finish stuffing the rest of this cash. And yeah, let me go get that. Okay, so here is 
my other budget binder. This is an old one. Like when I first started budgeting last year, on and off, I had grabbed this out of the dollar store because I love pineapples. I don't know why, but I really love them. So I love this binder. Found it at the dollar store. So I was like, let me just grab this, use it as a budget binder. And then I went to, I think it was AC Moore. They were going out of business. So like all their stuff was mad cheap. So I got like a whole like little really thick booklet of all this paper that was all gold. And I just made my own envelopes, hole punched them, and called this a budget binder. But whatever, it serves a purpose. So we're going to use these instead of buying new ones. So the new ones that I added are birthdays, Christmas, and Black Friday to save for. So that's what those three tens are for. There we go. Life makes sense again. So, we're putting $10 in birthdays. So I can definitely start saving up for that because it was actually, um, and I Velcroed these. It was my mom's birthday on the 12th. And I used my uh, self-care money, my spending money to get her her birthday gift. Which was like a, um, a flower cake. It was basically a whole bunch of flowers that they made look like a birthday cake. And it came with a balloon. It was really nice. I would post a picture of it. She sent me a picture of it when it came to the house. But my mom still operates a flip phone, y'all. So the quality was horrible. Like y'all could only imagine she still is rocking with a flip phone and she's proud of it. So, but it was really cute. Um, so that was her gift. So I'm just going to start setting aside now for birthdays because, you know, Big Thomas's birthday is in March. Then Tom Tom's birthday is in April. Theo's birthday is in July. Like, a lot of birthdays. And then Christmas, another 10 goes in there. So 10 goes into Christmas. And I have to make trackers for these now. Or I, I think I did. Yes. I did make trackers for these new ones too. So. Well. Old new ones. I guess you could call them. And then Black Friday. is. The okay. So I have my uh, transfer screen. All pulled up. I had to make sure like. No account information was showing, and it's not. <laughs> um, but we will be transferring from my checking account. Um, to... Our first will be new car, which I believe, let me check back, at my budget binder, new car gets 25. So there we go. And then continue. And make transfer. Yay. All right, so new car is done. Now moving on again from checking to a new car. No, we just did that. Retirement, which gets... It's usual 50. And continue. Make transfer. And this is the first time I've ever done like electronic transfers like this. 
for my accounts. And honestly, I'm not hating it. Like, I may do away with the envelopes for certain things. Like, every day, I think I would, my edit, everyday categories, I think I would keep that in cash. But in my emergency fund, because, you know, emergencies, you really need to, like, you need your money ASAP. So, I think I'll leave that. But everything else, I can just make a savings account for it and just electronically transfer it. So let me guys know whether or not you prefer the actual cash stuffing or electronic. Which do you like more? I kind of do like feeling the cash in my hand and like not having to deal with computers and the bank account and everything like that. I do like that part. So I don't know. Still deciding. So once again, from checking two, we've done new car, we've done retirement. Now we're moving on to new house. Okay, which gets, I believe, 20 this week. Yes, new house gets 20. Nope, not 30. There we go. Continue. Make transfer. All right. And last but not least, we have emergency. There we go. I was honestly surprised that you're allowed to have this many savings accounts. Like when I went into the bank to get the money for my last cash stuffing, I asked the teller that question. She was like, oh, you already have an online account like, and you're a member. You can have as many as you want. You can create them yourself. You don't even have to do it in the bank. You can do it through your account. And I was like, okay. I see you. <laughs> and accounts were created. All right, so $50 goes into emergency. Make transfer. There we go. Everything is where it needs to be. So, um, I don't know. Now that I think about it, because I'm trying to, like, debate on whether or not I do just want to do electronic transfers when it comes to budgeting, it kind of seems like it would be easier for when, like, of course, when the money gets to a certain number, like, I can decide if I want to, at $300 is when I deposit everything into its individual savings account which will probably be what happens so it is decided it took me all of five minutes to decide but it is decided i'm going to keep doing physical cash stuffing and then when my envelopes hit a amount of 300 dollars, then i will deposit that money into the bank into its own savings account and then we'll just start from scratch again with drawing out physical money and repeating the process over and over. So yay, decisions. So that brings us to the end of this cash stuffing video, guys. Please let me know what you thought of it in the description box below. How did the electronic transfer thing work for you? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Talk to me, let me know, let's have a dialogue. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.